This is Sehemin and welcome to another new video. Today, I'm going to show a demonstration of Miyahimi gouache paints. I have never used gouache paints before, but I have some experience with um, poster color uh, in my teenager life. I've been wanting to try this gouache paint for a very long time, and actually, I received this parcel um, two weeks ago, but I still haven't opened it because we were moving at the moment. I wanted to wait until we finished organizing stuff in this house. So here we are. I'm super excited. Let's just open it up now and let's see the inside. It is bigger than I expected. I originally thought the size would be like an ice cube maker, but this set is actually a lot bigger. When I opened the lid, there was a mini palette. Honestly, I was so glad that the paint set included the mini palette because I only have one for watercolor, so I didn't have to buy a palette for a gosh. A color chart was also sent. I'm pretty sure it is printed by inks and also their um, business card and a dynamic illustrated postcard were here. When I order art really stuff or some exercise from Instagram, I sometimes see they send their business cards, postcards, or um, stickers together. I actually keep them in my drawers because I would like to have them as references to get some ideas for growing a business. And all of the little jelly cups are 18 colors. Before we open the jelly cups, I'm gonna tip it upside and down so I can fill in the cubes quickly and neatly in the original order. Opening the jelly cups was a little bit of a messy process. Some cups were easy to open and the others were not. My nails got dirty already as you can see, but I didn't have to worry about it. It was easily removable. Also, you will see there's a lot of gouache on the lid. I don't want to waste any gouache, so I'm gonna use it first when I start painting or I'll wipe off. The smell was a little strong when I opened the fifth cup, but it didn't bother me much, I guess, because I got used to smell it. Although you can see the colors in the jelly cups, tubes, or the color chart, you may experience the colors look very different to what you expected. It is actually hard to tell what the colors look like on the paper before you paint. So I'm gonna make a paint color chart and put the name under the colors. I have used this way from when I learned academic art for the first time and it is pretty helpful to see and remember the actual colors. Now 
now we are gonna watch a process of my painting full of feet and silk clothes and have a little chat about gosh and how I feel about it. We are Himiko, she is actually from China and I ordered it from Australia Amazon for about $40. The reason why I got this brand was I just saw lots of artists on Instagram using it and I was curious of the texture for ages. If we are unsure what is gouache paint, specifically compared to watercolor, you can add colors from light to dark or dark to light, so any either is fine. You can repaint all the same areas as many times as you wish, even you can paint on the colored paper. Gouache paint is thick and dries quickly and it is matte to finish. Also, if you apply some water to the gosh on the paper, you still can continue working and change things. While I was painting this, I felt like gosh gave me more options to create because it dries super fast and stayed away as I expected while watercolor bring out unexpected results. The painting sound is also really cozy and peaceful. I felt like I want to paint traditionally more and also I'd like to paint on campus sometime to decorate our home. I actually found this art piece after finishing it and I'm having lots of fun so far. On the other hand, I have heard the gouache in the container actually dries up in few months because it is already exposed by the air and the air can get inside the box. So one of my concerns was how I can keep the gouache moisturizing. Referring to uh, some advice by artists on YouTube and I learned how to make it like a new condition again. So they say to make it fresh, add some drops of water, mix it well, and get rid of any lumps. I also found someone spray with some water to keep it fresh after using it. And I thought that's a really great and brilliant idea as well. That's all I wanted to share in this video. This video will keep playing until the end of the painting. Thank you so much for listening to my review and hope you enjoyed it.